Good evening, this is Kiana, and today I am just giving commentary on an article that was published in the Irish Independent, and that is Mugshot Coffee Trailers Offering Ex-Offenders a Fresh Start in Dublin. And I want to read a bit from this article. So Mugshot Coffee is the brainchild of Pace which is the acronym for Prisoners Aid Through Community Efforts. And this has been in business for approximately 50 years. And its mission is to help previously incarcerated persons get back to work. And they have two coffee shops and these are coffee trailers. And there's one in Bridge Foot Street Park, and there's also one in Four Courts, and I think that the one in Four Courts is in Dublin. I'm not quite sure where Bridgefoot Street Park is, but that might be in Dublin as well. And what they they are also doing is they're training previously incarcerated persons to become baristas. Now, just think about it you are released and you want to start anew and you understand that there are going to be some obstacles in your path because you are suffering from this record that is attached to your name and now you have an opportunity to get back to work and show the community that you are reintegrating into society. I just think that this is such a wonderful endeavor that Pace is doing. But they not only have these coffee trailers and are teaching people to be bar uh, baristas, they're, I, I think that they're also manufacturing outdoor furniture and they have gardens and street planters. So I think that, it, they're employing people to do that as well. So this is such a wonderful feat. This, interestingly, this business is funded by the probation service. The social enterprise gets referrals from probation officers who work in prisons or in the community. So I wonder if probation officers are saying, hey, you... I wonder if previously incarcerated persons who go to this coffee shop for employment at an interview, perhaps their probation officer is giving them a referral, you know, like as a reference, you, you know, when you do your CV or you submit an application, sometimes they'll ask for like a reference. I wonder if the probation officers are the reference for these previously incarcerated persons that are seeking to get hired at these coffee trailers. If they are, that is such a wonderful idea. That is an amazing idea. And I love it. I, I actually love it. And I want to tell you something that kinds of ties into this. So on Friday, I had the opportunity to visit a free museum and I went into a museum and there was a lot of art there and I didn't know what I was going to be seeing I just knew that I was going to be seeing art and when I went around I saw that there was a theme of particular pieces of art that were of a incarcerated nature and I began to learn that this was a gallery of art that came from prisons and jails. And there was so many pieces that were so beautiful. And you can tell that people really took their time to draw these wonderful pieces. And I'll tell you a couple of my favorites. So there was a picture or a, I wanna say, yeah, like a framed piece of art of an indigenous woman and she had crowns over her head 
and the art was shaded and you can just kind of tell that the person put a lot of time and energy into that piece of art and there was another piece of art that I really liked a lot as well there was a piece of art where there was it, it, I think it was done with color pencils, but it was so vibrant and colorful and it was just an abstract piece of art. It was so beautiful and I think it would really go good in somebody's apartment or their home that really likes color a lot. So that was just a really beautiful piece as well. And there was a piece of a man that was sitting on a bed in a room alone and that piece was very thought-provoking it was a conversation piece I think and I'm not sure if that was the intention behind this piece but it raised a lot of questions for me one was what is this man thinking who is he thinking about is he thinking about his family is he thinking about what he has done wrong is he thinking about Maybe he's wrongfully imprisoned. Could he be thinking about that? Is he in solitary confinement? If so, how long will he be there? How long will he be in prison? Generally, when will he get out? Is he thinking about his release date? Could he be, could that release date be coming up very soon? Is he nervous about it? Could he actually, be thinking about what he's going to do when he gets out of jail where will he go you see this particular piece of art is so thought-provoking and a conversation piece I can see that painting or that piece of art in a classroom in an entire discussion being had around it raising questions it being an activity in itself and everyone is discussing it, offering what they think that this piece of art means, what they think this person is thinking about. It's such a beautiful sketched piece that I think that you should see. Um, yeah, and there were other pieces at as well that I really liked, but this one was one of the ones that I think really had me thinking and wanted to engage in such a thought provoking conversation. So that's all for today. I am Kiana Canada and you can follow me at Kiana underscore Canada on Twitter X. You can also follow me here at The Real Kiana Canada. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.